Good Monday morning and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show and I'm joined as always by Craig Smith, the founder and publisher of EuropaPoppy.com and uh, before we uh, go to Craig with the exciting news and things that he's been up to this week, uh, we'll start with the headlines and um, first of all we have Euro European grocery market expected to grow significantly, uh, Czech Republic warehouse rents peak amidst declining demand, Poland's industrial market shows resilience amidst challenges and uh, Harden completes Poland's largest city logistics warehouse. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Wow, so a lot going on. Yeah, a lot of exciting headlines. And yeah, good morning and uh, welcome back to the Coffee with Craig show. We are here at the MRP studios here in Warsaw and uh, a lot happening. We're putting together our events and uh, the investment guide for Expo Real. So a lot happening at Expo Real. We're, uh, we're seeing they're getting, uh, again, every year more and more people coming to Expo. We are the official international media partners with Expo with extensive distribution throughout the fair. So if you have any uh, anything to advertise, anything to promote, any news, send it through to us. We want to get it out. And uh, Winston, I think our deadline's about the 15th. Is that right? 15th of the month, yeah? Of yep. September, yeah? 15th of so, September, that's correct. So we got a bit of time uh, left, almost three weeks left to go on that. Uh, a lot of interesting articles and covering the region, so we hope to see you all there. And then straight after that, I mean, uh, October is the investment month. We have the CRE Awards in Budapest once again, our sixth annual which will take place again at the Intercontinental in Budapest, October 15th, and then the 29th in Warsaw RCEE Investment Awards. If you haven't booked your tables for either of those events, do so as quick as possible, reserve some space. We also have a few award categories left that can be sponsored. So uh, take a look at the websites or drop me a message and we'll send you the list that of, um, of categories that are available. Uh, having said that, we'll take a little break and we'll come right back with uh, Winston Norman and the news. So welcome back, and uh, Winston, good to see you, and uh, you know, I hope you had a good weekend. Yeah, very nice weekend. Yeah, it was a long weekend, so can't, yeah, yeah. can't argue with that. Pretty hot here in Warsaw, though. It yeah. was steaming. It was, yeah, it was steaming. steaming hot. It's great to be in this studio, nice and air conditioning, and probably the coolest I've been the last five days. Anyway, let's, uh, very exciting headlines, so let us know what's going on in more detail, and let's talk about what, what's happening, yeah? Thanks, Craig. So, yeah, so Savills have uh, announced their uh, European grocery market report, which predicts strong growth for Europe's uh, grocery sector in the coming years, driven by improved consumer confidence and inflation nearing target rates and rising retail sales. And uh, Savills go on to say that the Czech Republic and Belgium are expected to see the highest retail sales growth in 2025 at 6%. Uh, in the Czech Republic, uh, retail, food retail sales have increased for six consecutive months. Uh, leading to expansion of major chains like Lidl and Kaufland. Mm -hmm. And the market is also seeing shifts towards convenience stores and city centre express shops as consumers favour more frequent, smaller purchases closer to home. Right. Well, interesting that the Czech Republic is is growing so fast. Yeah, it is interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, wonder if they're just eating less at restaurants or, you know, because they're probably eating the same amount of food, but maybe just going to restaurants less or something, yeah? Possibly, you know, it just surprises me they don't mention uh, like shops like Zabka there, you know, because, you know, in Poland, for example, Zabka mm -hmm. is, you know, on every corner now. And yeah. It's like a convenient shopping extreme. Yeah. You can pretty much see the next Zabka from the Zabka you're at. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> there's, there's just not enough Zabkas mm. to go around these days. Exactly. So uh, whatever the equivalent is in the Czech Republic, I'm sure they're doing pretty well as well. Yeah, it sounds like it. Well, good good news for uh, grocery outlets and good to hear that Lidl and, of course, Kaufman, we know, is expanding pretty fast. In, yeah, that's in, in right. Poland, so. Even in Poland, yeah, there's a big Lidl and Bedronka war going on, I think. Right, right, right. <laughs> Fighting over that right, space. Yeah. And uh, staying in the Czech Republic, actually, and uh, warehouse rents uh, in the Czech Republic have doubled over the past five years. And uh, but have now peaked, and uh, this has been driven by a drop in demand and high costs, and uh, so similar to Poland there, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. And uh, many companies are opting for short-term leases or moving operations to neighbouring countries with cheaper rents. 
So the uh, the vacancy rate in the Czech Republic stands at 2.9% compared to 5% outside the country. And um, experts at Colliers predict a gradual price correction, especially around Prague, where rents have reached around seven uh, euro per square meter. And uh, the trend towards short-term leases is growing as companies seek flexibility amid economic uncertainty. Hmm. So interesting, doubled in five years, yeah? Doubled in five years. I mean, there was, yeah, there was an industrial boom, wasn't there? You know, and I, I guess it's correcting itself now. Things are going, you know, back to normal a bit. That's kind of like the American stock market. It doubled in the last five years or so. So interesting. Okay. Maybe there'll be a, I think there's a correction going on there as well. So I don't know if they're related, but just reminded me of something. Uh, staying in the industrial sector and moving to Poland and um, Poland's industrial market recorded a lease volume of 2.7 million square meters in the uh, half, first half of 2024 with extensions making up 40% of the contracts and uh, despite a 33% drop in investment value compared to the first half of 2023, the market is gradually rebounding, say Axi Imo. And uh, developers are focused on acquiring existing buildings due to high construction costs, while moderate new supply and stable vacancy rates indicate a balanced market. And uh, the most active regions in Poland were uh, Donoszlonski, Masowicki, and Szlonski, with significant new contracts and renewals driving demand. Oh, great. Well, good to see that uh, industrial's doing well. Yeah, and uh, it's predicted, Axima predicted that um, despite a uh, slower consumer recovery and a reduction in output, Poland's industrial market will grow or expect to grow in the second half of 2024. Right, right. Well, that's that's where we're at now. That's where we're at now. Second so, half. Yeah, second yeah. half. So it must be Hopefully growing. growing. Yeah. And uh, finally for today, also in the uh, logistics and industrial sector and uh, hardened construction has finished the City Logistics Poznan 3 project, which is... Uh, now officially Poland's largest last mile logistics facility, and it covers almost 44,000 square meters. And it was built for Rabin uh, Logistics Polska, and the facility includes 41 loading docks and advanced equipments like VNA system trucks. And uh, the warehouse was completed in under seven months and uh, supports Rabin's uh, contract logistics and warehousing services. And uh, the building was also has also received a Briam Excellence Certification. And uh, the site has been fully leased by Mars Wrigley, which underscores the project's uh, strategic importance for the region. Well, there you go, Harden. They seem to be doing a lot of big projects. We a lot of big be, projects. Yeah, I see yeah. more and more press releases from them. Yeah, I think their 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 business is growing, mm -hmm. and uh, we are we are definitely receiving a lot more news from them. Well, good to see they're doing so well. So it was a bit of grocery, bit of uh, industrial, and a bit of construction and industrial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of lot of industrial and logistics today, and uh, a bit of last mile at the end there. Yeah, yeah. Always exciting. All right. Well, great to great that you're all joining us here on this uh, Monday morning on the Coffee with Craig show. A lot going on already this year, and I can see people are back. Uh, even though it still feels like middle of summer, I can see people are back in the office. Traffic today was horrible, so good to see maybe some of them are our clients coming back. And see, we're getting a lot of press releases. So let's uh, so stay tuned to our news, and we will see you tomorrow um, as well. Stay safe and stay cool. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.